Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, Andre Iguodala, Kevin Durant, Draymond Green, also known as the Hamptons Five. Kobe reached for my pen and signed my jersey, and I still have it to this day. I think Jay, since he's got to pay for dinner, maybe we'll valet, <laughs> run up Jay's tab a little bit more. There's a valet, guys. Jay, get your wallet out. Free slab. And it's a PSA 10 Anthony Edwards Silver Prism Rookie. I'm gonna give this away. All you have to do is like this video and comment down below. Since I lost a bet, and I don't do any crazy bets, I just bet for fun with my friends about sports and if my team's involved. So that's kind of what I'm looking at. But if you have lost a bet, tell me the bet you lost or a bet you won and like what series, what game, it could have been a huge game. Comment what it is and just like this video and I'll pick one winner for this Anthony Edwards Silver Prism PSA 10. The other alternative to win is comment which quarterback, if you had to pick one, are you buying right now in the end of May of 2023 going into June? I wanna see what the consensus is. I'm gonna assume there's gonna be a lot of Justin Fields, a lot of Trevor Lawrence, and a lot of Jalen Hurts in the comments. So let me know now down below and let's go through our day. The Honda Pilot I got for 2,000 bucks. You guys probably saw it in some of the videos. So the transmission went out. I take it to this repair place. I'm three months in LA. Guy tells me it's a $3,000 repair. I told him, you know, what, what do you think I should do? Would you want to buy the car? He says, I'm not interested. You have 250,000 miles on it. I'm like, okay, I'm going to do that. So I call this place up. I asked them, for, this is like the opposite of a sports car deal. I think the car can get picked up for $1,000. The guy's like, uh, I'll give you 200 bucks for it. And we'll grab it right now. And they were like in hotel. So AG was helping with out with that. She contacted them and they picked the car up the same day. And I got a $200 check. So I made that Honda Pilot last like, under a year and it got me to LA and back and then now I'm just testing this. What do you guys think of Teslas? That's what I know. If anybody has one, if you have a recommendation, would you actually recommend buying one? That's what I want to know. Look at that. It's like pulling the sword out of the rock. And you put it in here. You should charge it. So that thing does that. My options. Sit in the car, make phone calls, or take a walk. It's 10.42, gonna charge this, go see Ben Beery, GS memorabilia, we're gonna go to Irvine. I owe him dinner, we're gonna open some packs, I'm gonna claim my bet, and then we're gonna get ready for the next Sacramento King season. <laughs> King has completed. Take that off, it closes there. We put this here. To Irvine we go. All right, you guys, what up? I'm here. We're in Irvine, and we're going to Newport Beach. I'm here with Ben Beery from GS Memorabilia, aka Golden State Memorabilia. We've known each other for too long. <laughs> too long. I lost a bet. The Warriors beat the Kings. The beam was extinguished. How do you feel about that? I mean, at the end of the day, we're not the Sacramento Kings, so we don't play for first round or second round playoff exits. We were looking for a championship, but the silver lining is that made a bet and now jay's got to take me to a steak dinner in newport beach we are in the best memorabilia vault that i've ever been in in my life welcome to the gs memorabilia vault amazing stuff we're going to talk about education of the hobby we're going to talk about authentication different types of slabs and some other things you ready to do this let's do it let's do it you guys take in submissions for basic certs so as we have in front of us, this is your favorite team, and this is an unbelievable set. And tell me about this set and a basic cert. What is a basic cert? Well, these are my guys right here. Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, Andre Iguodala, Kevin Durant, Draymond Green, also known as the Hamptons Five. Ooh, they won back-to-back -back championships on the Golden State Warriors in 2017, 2018. Almost won in 2019, but I guess that's history. Uh, all these items are authenticated by PSA. Uh, this is what you'd call a basic certification, which means you would send in the item, the autograph authenticators will take a look at it, and then they will affix a hologram to the item. And that assures that the item is authentic and authenticated by PSA. And as you guys can see behind me, we have a few people who sent some stuff in for this basic certification service. I've got a few boxes back here, and I'm excited to get these items done for our customers and get them back to them and that way they can collect them or sell them or do as they please with them. One thing I noticed about Ben's vault, and I need to ask him about this, is there's a Taylor Swift signed CD, there's magazines, there's tickets, there's cards. 
I am just like in amazement that you can submit all this because even I submitted through my years and I only submitted for basic certs. So, well, there's all this different stuff you can do and there's all these different services you can offer and I can actually show you guys all different nuances and stuff and the different stuff you can get on your PSA flips. Let's see it. First thing we got, tell us about this. So we have here, we have a Taylor Swift CD cover. Uh, this one uh, is an autograph of Taylor Swift on a CD cover. So you can see it's labeled CD cover, Taylor Swift. PSA DNA certified auto grade. So this one actually is an auto grade of 10. PSA deemed this autograph to be a 10 grade. And they put that on the uh, on the flip. Cool. And you've got this Russell Westbrook cut. This is the same type of slab. They call this a T3 slab. It's slightly larger than what you'd have for a regular ticket or a card. The autograph kind of streaks on this, so no auto grade. This one's authentic. Um, this is actually an older autograph of Russell Westbrook, likely signed at his earlier playing days when he was on the Thunder, uh, with his number zero. He doesn't really sign very much anymore, and if he does, his autograph's a lot shorter, and you don't kind of get this little extra part, the Russell part. You kind of just get more of an R and kind of like a squiggle to finish the W. So I have a question about that. So yeah. you, you didn't autograph it, at, you didn't grade it a 10 because you saw that, correct? Yeah, yeah, you got some streaks here and you got you got a skip here. And I mean, this autograph's probably realistically like a seven. What do we so, got here? So, so we're going back to Warriors versus Kings here. We have a very storied history. I can't. Um, this is horrible. What he's gonna show us right now is absolutely horrible a as a Kings fan. History. Kings made history and not in a good way. The Kings are always a part of history. It was just a regular Friday night in 2015. And the Kings were actually keeping up with the Warriors that year. The Warriors were on their way to winning the championship. And the Warriors came out in the third quarter. Game was pretty even. And then Clay Thompson happened. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. He started going off, taking shot after shot, making shot after shot. He had 37 points in that third quarter, an NBA record. And we have actually that ticket from PSA. And as you can see on this ticket, we actually used the full service. And we got them to write 2015 GS Warriors, January 23rd. Clay Thompson, 37 points and a quarter, PSA DNA cert. And here you got Clay's autograph. You got Clay's inscription, NBA record, 37 point quarter, 123.15. And in typical Clay Thompson fashion, he forgot that he had already signed the ticket. So he ended up signing it a second time. And you got and, that sign yourself, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. And that makes it a pretty cool, pretty cool collector's piece. Oh my um, gosh. But then going back to tickets, it's like here we have a Carlos Correa debut ticket. Wow, remember and you this guy? Oh yeah, he was pretty hyped. He won Rookie of the Year that year in 2015. Oh. Going back to it. And uh, this one was just labeled as a regular ticket that's autographed by Carlos Correa. Uh, this does not have the full service, and that kind of allows you to differentiate between if you want to authenticate the ticket and the autograph, or just authenticate the autograph. And on that, why not do the full service for Cray? Is it just because it depends on the ticket I mean, and the player? I mean, the full service can take a little bit longer. It definitely costs more, and sometimes you just don't you don't have to have it on certain items. If an item is lower end, or in a guy like Carlos Correa's case, he's no longer a superstar in the Houston Astros. Money, yes. So we have this ticket size holder, which can also fit as PSA calls it currency. So we had Charlie Sheen sign a couple hundred dollar bills for us with a nice "Greed is Good" inscription from his movie Wall Street. Um, and the autograph actually got a 10 on this one, so that's actually pretty cool. A lot of it does come from like sit-down signings, right? Yes, yeah, yeah. When you're at a sit-down signing, you have a little bit more control over how an athlete or celebrity signs the autograph. You can tell them take their time, and sometimes they normally care more about how the piece comes out rather than Russell Westbrook just grabbing a piece of paper and scribbling on it so somebody can kind of get out of his face. So the Warriors uh, won their unlikely championship in 2022. And I decided I wanted to start collecting some signed slabbed cards uh, from the set, from the 2022 Panini Instant set of all and, the different players who won. And tell us about the, so look at right here. So it says trading card and it says Kevon Looney, but it says authentic auto. And then some of these are graded odd gem mint 10. So yeah, so we have here, so we actually have two Kevon Looney's, right? Here. So tell me about these. Uh, so one of them, the autograph, uh, we chose to grade it, this autograph probably a 9 or a 10 itself, but we chose not to grade this autograph. This autograph, we chose to grade it a 10. As you can see, it's pretty bold. And, and I can see on this one, that's why you didn't authenticate because it's a little bubbly. Yeah, it's a little bit bubbly, so we chose to not go for the auto grade on that one. So you're really paying attention when you're going to submit a signed card. Like, 
I think that's a big thing to talk about is like pay attention to how it looks. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Because people just see and they're like, oh, it's just signed, but like you can literally tell that there's like bubbling. Yeah, and then you have an example here. We have this De'Aaron Fox card. De'Aaron has a very quick signature. And as you can see on this one, we opted to grade the autograph and we got an autograph eight on it. Wow, so that's an example right there. And then this is actually an example of a full service trading card where PSA will actually add the name of the card. This is 2017 Panini Prism Hyper of De'Aaron. So as you can see, they authenticated the card and they graded the autograph versus this De'Aaron Fox where they just named it as a trading card so they did not authenticate the card. And this is actually a 2019 Panini Prism Silver of Deer and Fox, and they just authenticated the autograph. And in my opinion, obviously, and you know this too, that's just a way more expensive, better card than this is. Well, I mean, this is a rookie card, that's a rookie, right? And this that's is the a, more desirable yeah. one. This is kind of the card you want to have Deer and sign. But I mean, as a collector, like I mean, it's cool to have both of these. Deer one of the top players in the league nowadays, and even though he has nothing on the Warriors, he's still LNBA third team. And, oh my. And, Gosh. And, and I'd like to thank Deer and Fo actually no. We got to cut played, that. No, he played, it's he, he played. He played really well. Uh, he's he's going to be really good for years to come. Um, it's going to take him a long time to catch Steph Curry, that's for sure. Oh, my gosh. All right, and tell us about the last slab. This is one of my favorites because I really didn't know so about this. So these are cool. A lot of people don't really know much about them, but these are the jumbo slabs where you can take 8 by 10 photos. You can actually take photos up to 8.5 by 11, and you can slab them. Look at this. You got this signed by Kobe? Or this is um, purchased? I didn't get this signed myself, um, but I purchased it and I thought it would look great in a PSA 10 holder. What um, the heck and is then this? This is a signed jersey number of Steph Curry. This is actually a rookie signature of his, likely done at some kind of a signing during his rookie season. And I thought that would be a pretty cool piece to encapsulate and have over time. Uh, as you guys know, I'm a big Warriors fan. I have my Warriors personal collection. I've got my set here of the Hamptons Five guys. One of these days, you guys will see these jerseys all framed up on my wall because these are the five guys from the championship year. And tell us about the, the Holy Grail here. The Holy Grail. So after the Warriors won their championship in 2015, that was their first championship. You can even see all the stains on the jersey from when it was taken out to go and hand to each player to get signed. At the Hyatt Hotel. I would bring the, uh, I don't ever think I went to the hotel oh, for that I, think I just went to the games. I went to Warriors games. And then I actually had to make a trip all the way to Sacramento to go visit Jay to finish this thing off. I needed two guys left. Who I was had, it? I needed Sean Livingston and I needed, where's Andrew Bogut? Oh my. There's Andrew Bogut right there. Andrew Bogut, Jay's favorite player. Jay and Andrew Bogut had some fun times during that time as well. Uh, yeah, that, that's a story for another time though but yeah this has all 15 Warriors players who are on the team plus it has Steve Kerr the coach and this is one of those old school uh, Revolution 30 authentic jerseys Ben can you tell me about the Funko Pops that are signed here and encapsulated yeah well so this is a cool thing so these Funko Pops really only became a thing a few years ago uh, they were never an autograph type of item and they kind of stormed the scene about 10-ish years ago or so now everybody's taking these Funko Pops and getting these windows signed and it's pretty cool we got Alan Iverson here Hulk Hogan Charlie Sheen Robert Downey Jr. and Jerry Rice and the cool thing is is PSA used to offer a service where you could actually get the Funko Pop encapsulated and get the autograph authenticated and just get the autograph graded as well so you see this Charlie Sheen has a 10 autograph and we're able to do that without grading the Funko Pop and where you can encapsulate it and it just displays nicely hey jerry rice gem mint 10 auto and that's the grade and, of the auto and, and the cool thing is this has a psa dna cert itp 11 2021 this means a representative from psa actually witnessed this autograph being signed uh, and they were able to add this here to kind of memorialize that. So that's pretty cool. So I'll be waiting for the service to come back for the encapsulation. I can't wait to get my Robert Downey Jr. done. That'll be pretty flawless. cool. Oh yeah, no, this is a nice one for sure. Tell us about your personal collection. We picked out four items here. What do we got? Well, first of all, I gotta start by giving a shout out to my OG Warriors. These are the guys I watched growing up play. Got Jason Richardson here. And we got Monte Ellis. Jason Richardson won two slam dunk championships in the early 2000s and really kind of electrified things and kept things fun when the Warriors weren't playing very well. We could always look forward to the Jay Rich breakaway dunk. And uh, we could always look forward to Jay Rich uh, shooting some three pointers. Back before three pointers were really that much of a thing in the NBA. 
Uh, Monte Ellis was cool. Warriors drafted him out of high school. Uh, actually, in the second round, made it to the first round as an eighth seed and upset Dallas. And that uh, was something we hadn't seen before, and that was pretty cool. Shout out to Steven Jackson, Baron Davis, and Al Harrington as well. Andres Biedrins, a few other guys. Mike Dunleavy. Uh, uh, Dunleavy actually got traded that year. Was it that year? Uh, Dunleavy got traded. He was in the trade that brought over Steven Jackson and Al Harrington. And that was kind of cool for us in 2007. That kind of almost felt like we were hanging up a banner. Paul, like for you guys, when you won game one for the Sacramento Kings versus the Warriors. Game one and game two. Game one and game also, two. Also, I have to add this. I tested him about Mike Dunleavy. You're not a bandwagoner because he you you just claim that trade. I said that, but I knew Mike Dunleavy was on the Pacers because I autographed him. Sheesh! Well, if you spend time autographing Mike Dunleavy, well, I guess I mean I guess we all did. <laughs> we all did. You gotta, get, you gotta get everyone. But that is a test. You passed the test. So, that is the n most so non-bandwagon so thing I've ever so heard. So that was cool. So 2007. So it was cool to go from this to, to that. these guys right here. Start with these Kevin Durant. Two, yeah, let's start with Kevin Durant. These two, these items actually have uh, a pretty significant amount of meaning for me. I got them both when I was younger, uh, probably like 2007, 2008. The Durant was in 2007. We actually went to Summer League. It was myself and my brother. We went out there, and uh, this was Kevin Durant's rookie year. He was playing on the Sonics. I went to Las Vegas Summer League, and the cool thing about this card is this is a uh, family issued card so this is actually only given to kevin durant's family members uh and we were out there and we were waiting to get an autograph from kevin durant and uh we were talking to this to this lady that was sitting there in the first row and she was asking us what we were doing and we told her that we were waiting to get an autograph from kevin durant and how we really like him and we think he's going to be a good player in the league she looked at me and my brother and i was 11 years old at the time and she's like, well, keep waiting. He'll sign your photo. He's really nice. He's my grandson. <laughs> and uh, shout out to Kevin Durant's grandmother, Barbara. She gave us, uh, she gave she gave me this card. And uh, it's pretty cool, pretty cool to have, as you can see. Um, just the Upper Deck Family card. I know not too many of these cards are out there. And uh, it was cool. She actually already had it signed and given to us. And it's pretty wow. cool to have this. And Never seen something like that. it over time. All right, and then I know this guy meant a lot to you, and I want you to talk about Kobe. Well, I mean, I, I think I think anyone growing up in the late 90s, early 2000s can tell you that Kobe Bryant was one of a kind. He was an inspiration. Um, he kind of went to show what hard work and dedication really meant in any kind of craft or anything you do. And it was really cool for me in 2008 the uh, Team USA was actually having a practice out in Las Vegas. They are having their training camp out in Las Vegas before they flew out to Beijing to go for the Olympics. The team was staying at the Wynn at the time, and uh, we went out there to go get some autographs, and Kobe was there, and LeBron, and Dwayne Wade, and you had all these different players there that were just the biggest names. Uh, it's not like nowadays where you don't get the top guys playing on Team USA. You had every guy playing on Team USA that year. And we're waiting for some autographs and Dwayne Wade came out with his bodyguards and Carmelo came out with his bodyguards and LeBron came out with his bodyguards and Kobe came out with his bodyguards and there wasn't getting anywhere near of any of them. 12 year old me was a little bit stubborn and I decided I was going to run up to Kobe Bryant and I had my jersey and I was met with a nice stiff arm from one of Kobe's bodyguards, hmm. um, and I kind of thought I was done right then and there. Uh, but then Kobe reached for my pen and signed my jersey, and I still have it to this day. And as you can tell, it's uh, it's one of those quicker autographs. He kind of probably had to fight his bodyguard to get this one signed for me. But I'm really happy to have this, and it's one of those items that I got when I was younger, and I'll definitely cherish this one for a long time. That's cool, man. All right, so we haven't talked in a while. You go to the National. You do a lot of signings. You do a lot of stuff with PSA. So tell me about GS memorabilia. Like, what's going on? What do you guys got going right now? So nowadays, we're basically at a spot where uh, we are looking for autographed inventory that people are getting signed, and we are taking that stuff. We're posting it on our website, gsmemorabilia.com. We're on eBay as gs-memorabilia, and we're constantly looking to pick up new, newly signed stuff. We're very big into the authenticity of autographs. We get stuff authenticated by PSA, and we make it available for sale to our customers. It's pretty cool. Um, I started out collecting autographs when I was a young kid, and I enjoy making authentic autographs available for 
is for anyone, anyone who can't actually have access to go and get them themselves. We also do PSA authentication submissions. People send us items from all over the country. They go out, they go to games, they go to hotels, they go to shows, they get stuff signed and they mail it to us, just regular autograph authentication stuff. We got photos, jerseys, helmets, balls, whatever people want to send in. And uh, lately people have been sending in a lot of cards for encapsulation, so they send in cards. And they, you guys accept submissions for that? Yeah, yeah. People send in cards that are autographed uh, and they want to get those authenticated. Uh, a lot of people just go with a regular trading card service, with, which is a cheaper service uh, than the PSA grading services. A lot of people don't actually know that that service is available. These guys are crushing it. I mean, I've known you for a while. We got autographs. I mean, we have some crazy stories. I don't know what's your, what's your favorite chasing story with me like or like favorite person we got like I don't so, so so my favorite chasing story with Jay is actually before Jay was big into YouTube and everything he actually he did an interview with Steph Curry oh my gosh I can't. Um, we, we were out at a Warriors game one this day. is this is I can't believe you're gonna say this all right we were out at a Warriors game one day and it was great uh, we were waiting to get Steph's autograph and Steph comes up and he stops and he signs for the few of us that are there. Steph's been great all the years. He would always sign for his fans. And uh, Jay came in, was visiting from Sacramento. I think the Warriors were playing the Mavericks that night. Um, and we were just, this was before the Warriors were champions. This was like, I think in 2013 or 2014. But we started talking with Steph about candy that he likes. Yeah. And he says he likes all like the different gummy candy and Sour Patch and th that type of stuff. And he's like, he's like, he's like, yeah, basically anything but chocolate. And I freaked out. And Jay just lost his shit. Jay had already gotten his autograph, walked away. He backtracked. He's like, Steph, wait, you don't like chocolate? That was a pretty funny moment. Back in the day, oh my gosh. And I was like 300, I was like 300 pounds. We were pretty, we were, we were big boys. I was like, that was like probably like 10 years ago looking back at it. Like this was before, before the Warriors were like big. It was back when you could actually go and get autographs from the Warriors in a low, low key situation. I was getting Tyreek Evans autograph while this guy was getting Steph Curry full name signatures. I know, if only I got more rookie cards signed back in the day. Cards, bro. I was always about cards. I love cards. Yeah, I, I, liked, I liked to get my photos and other items, items that would commemorate just different moments. Um, it was it was interesting. It's like when you, before your team wins a championship, you want to go and you get all this different stuff. A player could have a cool dunk in a game. A player could have could shoot a cool shot or maybe hit a game winner one game, and you kind of remember those. And Jay can't really relate. It's a Sacramento Kings fan. But then what ends up happening is your team wins a championship, and you just want to get all the memorabilia from the championship stuff. I have had to hear this, not even just from you, from my Instagram people, the Warrior fans, and it is just I'm taking I'm taking my L, dude. It's all right. Well, I've been a Warriors fan since when the Warriors sucked. The Kings used to be good and the Warriors were bad. That's how long I've been a Warriors fan. It's so, unbelievable. So I, 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 I get to talk now and it's great. The Warriors have won four championships. Uh, we've got the greatest trio of all time, Steph, Clay, and Draymond. And Draymond Green. Yep, Draymond Green um, really helped us in that Sacramento series. Um, almost kind of shut Sabonis down, right? Sabonis, so dude. Oh, it was a tough one. I agree with that. You and I obviously translated our businesses. We, He and I started getting autographs at games. We went to team hotels. We experienced a lot of interesting people. When did you translate like from graphing into like the more professional side of things? Like what, what was the transition there? And like, what did that look like? Because I, I had to do it as well. So what happened for me was in 2016, I was going off to college. Uh, I went to Sonoma State University out in Rohnert Park, California, and there's no professional teams out there to get autographs from at all. And I had always enjoyed getting autographs. And I realized that if I wanted to keep getting autographs, I'd have to get a little bit more creative about it and work with people who were actively getting autographs. So it started out as, hey, let me kind of get a little bit more connected with people. I got connected with people through Facebook groups. Autographs 101, Autographs 247, and... Uh, Autographs 101, let's pour one out for uh, Mike Redler and the boys. It's cool to see everyone around the country kind of going out. And, and again, these are real authentic autographs. The people out there going and getting autographs are providing a service for the fans who may not have access to go out and get an autograph. So similar to an autograph signing. 
uh, these people are putting in hard work and they're going out and they're getting stuff done for people and I mean it's really the only way to get autographs from certain celebrities I mean you don't see a guy like Drake doing a signing you don't see a guy like Jay-Z doing a signing and so really the only way to get that is from people who decide to put in some work and uh, they go out and they get some autographs so shout out to all you guys that are out there on the streets getting autographs and hustling and working hard that is definitely work and yeah I mean I'm sure every, anybody who collects autographs from people who aren't actively doing signings respects what you guys do to shout out to the autograph seekers I gotta say for both of us at least I try to graph when I can I, I pop in every once in a while I met Curry you know and get my little autograph go to Tahoe do that stuff it takes a lot of time though it definitely takes a lot of time and uh I think one thing I didn't really know was when I kind of transitioned more into the business side of things back in 2016 that my days would be a little bit more limited of going out and getting autographs and that was a fun hobby for me growing up and I really enjoyed it um, but I, I started taking things a little bit more seriously and things uh, started coming in as far as I'd buy autographs and I'd buy autographs from signings and um, just kind of started selling on eBay and then from there I kind of I started my own website gsmemorabilia.com and we sell on there too now and we have just I mean we have great customer base people go online and they buy stuff um, and very very fortunate I'm very fortunate to be in a field that I enjoy I still enjoy looking at autographs uh, I still get a kick out of seeing all the stuff you guys send in for authentication and it's funny every autograph has a story whether a player uses a different kind of pen oh hey this guy only signed in a black pen and he signed five autographs and didn't sign for the whole crowd or hey back when Luca was a rookie it was cool to see all the silver paint pen signed eight by tens and Luca would sign five autographs a person and now Pri and Prisma Stuff. Now Prismacolor paint pens are uh, out of business. Prismacolor paint pens are done. I remember when people hated them and they liked Deco and I was into Prisma. It was actually right around when we started graphing. Prisma started it, getting that going. It, it's crazy. Prismacolors are discontinued and if you look on eBay, they go for like $50 a pen right now. And I think I can speak for all of us when I say I wish we all bought more. Um, it was just, they're, they're a very good pen for in-person autographing. It's a silver paint pen that dries fairly quickly. Um, and I wish I had a few more than I have, but I'm going to save the few that I have for uh, some autographs one day. Who knows, maybe I'll come out of retirement one day and go uh, go, go get some autographs. Uh, those days oh, were always fun. Oh, snap. Just two friends that were together since the beginning, crushing in the game. I think Jay, since he's got to pay for dinner, maybe we'll valet, <laughs> run up Jay's tab a little bit more. Uh, I gotta sell some cards after this. Un un unless, unless he wants me to sit here and look for parking for like 20 minutes. Oh my gosh, valet, let's do it. All right, I think let's we're gonna valet. It. All right, valet, let's go. I owe you, bro. You, you're, you're. I can't say anything. He beat me in the bet, and the Warriors outplayed us. And shout, shout out Steph Curry. He did not let us lose in Game Seven. Uh, I, I, I saw. It was great. I, 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 I knew the see... I knew the Warriors had it covered, and then they go down 0-2. And uh, then they bounced back. They won the next three. I thought they'd personally close it out in game six. They didn't. And uh, Steph came out strong in game seven and, and, and made sure I didn't have to buy Jay a steak dinner. So. There it is. All right. You're going to enjoy this steak, I can tell. How many cards do you think you submit with PSA every day? A week. Autographs and cards total. Autographs and cards. Ooh. I'm going to say 500. 500? What do you say? Man, you're selling me short here. It's it's been it's it's a six figure number over the last couple of years. But in a week, I mean, it all all depends on the week and how much how much we put into actually focusing on the submission part of things. But I mean, it can it can exceed thousand items a week for sure. Thousand items a week, wow. There, there's a valet, guys. Jay, get your wallet out. Oh my gosh, here we go. Look at this guy. <laughs> He's doing it to me. This is what he's doing to me. So he's all into the video uh -huh. stuff. So he's out here taking videos of everything. This guy, this guy's milking me for game seven of the first round of the NBA playoffs. He's taking it all in. He's gonna tell everybody about it. Once you bring the... Make, make, sure, make sure to tell him he lost and go Warriors. Wow. Yeah. Oh, please. Yeah. I, lost, I lost the bet. This guy found a new girlfriend. <laughs> Okay, the prices aren't bad. When we go to Dallas, oh, what's that place called? Gibson's in Chicago. Gibson's in Chicago is awesome. Gibson's in Chicago is awesome. Let's see if they got a kid's menu. 
He's got jokes. Sheesh. I feel like I'm here with a female, man. We're videotaping all the food. <laughs> what happens when you lose a bet? We're eating good today. All right, I'm gonna guess it's gonna be two. The highest bill he's ever paid. <laughs> I'm gonna guess two fifty. Here we go. Two sixty-two. I was so close. All right. Sacramento Kings losing Game Seven has cost me two sixty-two. I had a great time with Ben. He won the bet, but what we had the best time with was we've recanted memories and honored our true friendship. For a long time which just that's it's priceless you never forget where you came from and who you grew up with in the industry and this guy taught me so much and he actually just i had to bring him on this channel and he has so much to offer and if you guys want to follow him on instagram or he even has his phone number on here look at Dad, this you're doing me like that oh man you know this is his nah, it, it, tell him about it, that it's all it's all good honestly uh for me i enjoy seeing everybody succeed or learn in this industry if anybody wants to get in contact with me uh whether it's to submit autographs for authentication if you're looking to buy any autographs or if you just have any questions and you want to learn more about the industry or how to get into the business i want to see other people succeed i was the kid once that was chasing kobe bryant or jason richardson or whoever it was and i was just out getting autographs Graphs for fun and for this to be a business for me is a true privilege um, you guys can hit me on my Instagram GS memorabilia it's at GS memorabilia Facebook is at GS memorabilia Twitter doesn't really get used much anymore uh, you guys can text me also you can text me on my cell phone 10,000 messages and emails uh, incoming. Don't, don't, don't do too many but no honestly like if there's anything I can do to help uh, I'm here it's 925-725-5522 uh, you guys can email me at well at gsmemorabilia at gmail.com. And uh, I honestly look forward to hearing from some of you and possibly helping you guys either build your collections or help you guys get started in the business because our industry is growing. And right now we're at a spot where, I mean, there's people who are going to be in this business for the next 20 and 30 years. And you guys, this is a younger crowd. You guys are the future of this whole thing. So that's going to be pretty cool to see. Hey man, thank you so much. Hey, of course. Let's go. Thanks for coming. Yeah, of course. If you guys enjoyed this video, drop a like, do drop a comment down below. Tell us what your favorite part or favorite autograph was from this. And don't forget to follow Ben. Follow me on Instagram as well. And we'll talk to you guys later. See ya.